I'm Alex Cassell and I'm a 2L. I'm John Middleton and I'm a 2L. My name is Gunnar Johansson um, and I'm a 2L. My name is Marissa Gonzalez. I'm a 2L this year. My name is Andrew Meyer. I'm a 2L. My name is Cade Jones. I am a 2L at the University of Missouri School of Law. So the academic success program was a large part of my um, success my first year. I would say that the biggest thing for the academic success program is the um, teaching fellows office hours. I think that is something that helped me the most and going to them, um, you know, whenever I didn't understand something in class or whenever I just wanted to review something that I did understand, the teaching fellows were always there. They always had convenient office hours and it was really great to be able to talk to them um, and kind of navigate the courses. First things first, um, in terms of study skills, whether it be outlining, whether it be flashcards, whether it just kind of even regards to outlining, determining what is the best outline for a certain class. So, but also with the academic success program, um, I was able to blossom um, internally, um, gain more confidence that, you know, I do deserve to be here. I, you know, work just as hard as everybody else. And um, along the way, I've met some very, very good friends as well. Um, I think the biggest thing that helped me was just reaching out to people and asking for help. I remember being really scared to bother my professors and to bother the teaching fellows because I know they're all busy and they have families and lives and a million things to do. But once I got over that kind of fear that I was bo constantly bothering people and just started asking for help, you realize how willing people are to help and how much people want to help here at Mizzou Law. And so I think that was something that really, really helped me in the long run. Finding friends and finding a routine, um, finding your study partners, and more than just study partners, good friends that you can rely upon. Um, getting that routine and just kind of getting a feel for what school is and what's going to work best for you, whether you're going to be more of a morning person in studying or more than or an afternoon or evening type person, finding out what works best for you and then sticking to it. And then in regards to that, giving yourself time where you're not doing law school stuff to kind of for your own uh, mental health and whatnot. So um, finding that routine and sticking with it. The Professor Alexander's outlining uh, workshop was very helpful. Um, everybody talks about outlining when you come into law school and you know, as a 1L you have no idea what they're, they're talking about. You take a stab at it um, and you try it and you try it. But Professor Alexander was very helpful in um, you know, what to, how to start an outline, how to keep it up to date, how to go through different uh, versions of it and that process of outlining and uh, going through multiple outlines actually is how you retain that information. I liked the study jam. It was just kind of a brief summary where you could go around to each different um, tutor and ask the fellows, you know, for just a quick breakdown on like last minute concepts that you needed before the final exams were coming up and so things like that just understanding the biggest most important concepts and just getting like a quick rundown right before the exam was really helpful. I just benefited a lot from the whole program from the, um, the sessions with Professor Ferguson and the teaching fellows and um, at the end of the semester we have these study sessions and I thought it'd be a good thing to give back and you know um, it helped me a lot so I feel like it's the right thing to do. Um, the positive experience that I had, the people that I met, and just kind of the, like the pitfalls that I went through, um, I really enjoy uh, helping other people and, and avoiding those pitfalls or sharing my experience and whether that helps them or not, just trying to help other people and, and help them with their transition, especially if there's other non-traditional students, kind of helping them guide into law school, ease in, allay their fears, and just be a friendly ear and, uh, for them. Um, it seems like a lot early on, but um, after a few weeks you get the hang of it and you just have to stay dedicated and keep studying. You gotta um, do, do all the readings, st stay away from just reading online case briefs, actually read the case books that the teachers assign. Whatever type of you know, lawyer or law you want to go into, don't let certain just aspects of life you know, detract you from you know, your purpose of being wanting to be a law student and then down the road be a lawyer. Something that's really important is don't compare yourself to others um, and I think the biggest key to success um, that everyone has in common that did well is not a particular thing but they just know what they what works for them and they stuck to it. Don't let it consume you. Um, 
It's daunting, it's a big task, there's a lot, you're gonna get a lot of information. I remember that first week, just those first few days felt like a month for me. Not to take it too seriously, like it's important, it's law school and you're invested, everyone that's here is invested in it and cares about it, but just don't feel like your life depends on it. You know, like you're gonna get your JD, you're gonna graduate, you're gonna get a job, so don't put too much pressure on yourself. So don't hesitate to reach out and don't hesitate to um, treat us as a resource.